Hello, welcome to Electric Focus, and today we're going to do a range test. So just under 200 miles round trip to be done today. And let's have a look at the stats out there. So it is seven degrees C, it's just coming up to nine o'clock, and the gasometer says I've got 199 miles range. Now it's not charged up to 100 percent but what I did do this morning is I did precondition the battery. I've done that so it should be at its optimum temperature so I'll look forward to speaking to you later on the journey. 196 mile round trip today to Dundee. It's mainly motorway and just a word on the conditions I've set. So the car is set at eco mode. The climate control is set at 20 degrees which is absolutely normal for me that's how I'd normally set up the car and I'm just going to be driving as normal up to speed limits and the weather outside currently still that six to seven degrees as it was this morning so it's been that all the way along so far so fairly cold but the wind is reasonable 17 miles an hour I think when I checked earlier so not too bad and it's been drizzling now and again but generally quite dry so let's see how the car performs in these conditions speak to you later Okay, so I've reached my destination. Actually, where I've come to today is the Tesla Supercharger Hub just outside Dundee. And the reason I've come here is because this is one of the supercharger hubs that's been open to non-Tesla drivers. So my Jagger iPace can actually use one of these units. So that's good and exciting. So I'll let you know how that goes. And in terms of the journey, so the first part of this journey, Let's have a look at the Jaguar app to see how that went. So total distance was just under 98 miles, uh, one hour, 40 minutes, 51 miles per hour. But the key figure there is the energy consumption. So 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. So let's take that 2.7 times by the battery size, 84.7, to give a understanding of range. So that would be a range and a full battery of 228 miles. So actually that's pretty good when I say on average that the Jaguar I-Pace, this particular one, this particular model, I've been getting around 225 when you take the whole year. I get more in summer, more like 250 to 270 sometimes in summer, but taking into account throughout all the different times of the year, I'd say on average around 225 miles. So to get 228 today when it's reasonably cold, six or seven degrees all the way along. It wasn't particularly windy, uh, about 16, 17 miles an hour and a little bit of drizzle, but mainly dry. Uh, but I'm really happy with that, 228 miles. And it makes me wonder about preconditioning the battery before I left, uh, because that's, I'd hardly ever do that. But that's the numbers. And I'm now gonna have a go on trying to charge on one of these Tesla superchargers, so I'll let you know how that goes and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, so I finished charging on the Tesla supercharger, first time I've used one of those, and it all went really well, no problems at all. And I got speeds of up to 55 kilowatts. So considering these are 150s, not as fast as I'd like. But anyway, I've got enough to get home now. So I'll be on my way and on the second part of the journey. So I'll speak to you soon.
Hello, I've arrived back home and that was the second half of the journey done then. And just to tell you that it was slightly different because I missed one of my turnings and therefore I had to take a slightly different route, less motorway, a bit more A road. And that just meant it was a bit slower for one and also traffic was a lot heavier by the way on the way back. The weather and temperature wise was about the same, around seven degrees all the way. However, it started off quite windy and also a bit of rain. And then it, the sun came out later and it changed quite a bit. So the weather was a bit mixed on the way back. But let's have a look at the app to see what the figures said. Right, slightly different route, as I said, but actually the distance was almost the same, 97.4 miles. Time-wise took longer because of the route and also the traffic. And the average speed was slightly higher, actually, 54 miles an hour against 51 miles an hour on the route out. But overall, the energy consumption, 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour. So then we take that two and a half miles per kilowatt hour times by the battery, 84.7. And that gives us an average range and a full battery of 212 miles, roughly. So that's against two to eight on the way out. So slightly different. And why was that? Not quite sure. Conditions were slightly different on the way back. Route was slightly different. So slightly annoying that I didn't do the same route because I couldn't give an exact comparison. But anyway, it gives you an idea of the sort of range you can expect in this Jaguar I-Pace anyway, in this type of weather. So as always, Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll speak to you soon.